Who doesn't like ice cream? When you log on to your computer and find an email invitation to visit Ben & Jerry's headquarters and factory in Vermont, you RSVP right away with a resounding yes, thank you. Everyone knows Ben & Jerry's ice cream, but their history is really fascinating. They met when they were 13, and as the slowest kids in gym class, were destined for friendship. When they were 25, they decided they should do some type of business together, and it should involve a shared love, food. Ice cream seemed pretty easy, so they sent for a $5 correspondence course on ice cream technology. They split the cost of the course. Ben and Jerry excelled in the class, scoring 100% on all of the open book tests. Astounding. In 1978, which is $12,000, 4000 of it borrowed, Ben and Jerry opened up their first ice cream shop in a dilapidated old gas station in downtown Burlington. It was business, but it was also fun. Ben and Jerry's headquarters in Burlington, Vermont, is a happy place. Jerry initiated the Joy Gang for employees. It's a group of employees who conjure up ways to keep fun in the workday. Employees bring their dogs to work, there's an on-site fitness center, yoga classes are offered, massages are available, and each employee can take three pints of ice cream home every day. Who wouldn't be happy there? And who wouldn't need that fitness center? While visiting the headquarters, we were taken to Scoop University. It's called Scoop U, to master the perfect scoop, and it isn't easy as it looks. The employees joined us on an afternoon break where we served up scoops of their favorite flavors, not necessarily perfect scoops, while the public relations manager played tunes on his harmonica. I told you the place was fun. Just up the road from headquarters at the Ben & Jerry's factory, the fun is open to the public with tours and tastings and the cutest little gift shop filled with all kinds of stuffed cows, ice cream flavored lip balms, and t-shirts that read Body by Ben & Jerry's. At the factory, we met Laurie, who has the really difficult job of maintaining quality control by sampling ice cream. She is proud of the Ben & Jerry brand, and not a single pint of unfit ice cream will get past her. She shared a sample of pistachio ice cream, fresh off the production line with us, and, well, I fell in love. Despite all the happiness at the Ben & Jerry factory, sadness awaits just outside. It is here that ice cream flavors are laid to rest in the flavor graveyard. We climb the icy, snow-covered hill to the gates of the cemetery to pay our respects to the flavors of yesteryear, where I lingered over the tombstone of Devil's Food Chocolate, fighting back my tears. Very, very sad. The Ben & Jerry's experience was amazing, but the coolest part of it was not the ice cream. It was the cost. You see, I flew from New York to Burlington, checked into a hotel for two nights, received my Scoop U training, toured the factory, sampled off-the-line ice cream, shopped in the gift shop, dined at a trendy restaurant in downtown Burlington, and even met ice cream legends Ben and Jerry. The cost of three days of ice cream bliss? Zero. As a travel writer, my articles not only cover destinations, but also food-related travel. The public relations team for Ben and Jerry's follows many of my articles online. So when they decided to bring a group of writers to Vermont to visit, I was included. Free trips are even sweeter than ice cream. It all started a few years ago when I ordered the Ultimate Travel Writers Program. Following the course suggestions, I began writing and seeking places to publish my articles. A regional magazine gave me my start with the Travel with Terry column. That column led to another with Examiner.com as the National Chocolate Examiner. Today, I have bylines from several publications. Those email invitations for free press trips, they arrive more frequently these days. I have even had to turn a few down. My advice to you would be to take step one and order the program. Who knows where it will lead? My first step led me to ice cream heaven. You'll see a picture of the writers with Ben and Jerry. Ben's a little bit taller than Jerry, and he's the one on the back row. Jerry's next to him, and I'm the only blonde in the group, so I'm on the front.